James Dutton here for Stuffbox. Delighted to join with James Moorcroft. James, how are we doing? I'm OK, thank you very much, mate. How are you feeling yourself? Yeah, all good, thank you, mate. All good. We're down at the gym today, Joe Gallagher's gym. All the boys in. So yourself, you haven't got a fight date yet. Obviously, all these boys are fighting very, very soon. Yes. Um, what's it like in the gym? It's great to be around, you know, like you say, everyone's got a fight date. I've just been given a fight date yesterday, so that'll be oh, the 17th of September. So I'm 10 weeks out now, but like I said, I've trained with Anthony and we've not been, we've not been um, out of the gym yet. So like I say, I took a defeat in my last fight over in Bilbao on match room, but I do believe that that'll de define me and I'm, I'm ready to go again and, and really show the improvements from that last fight and, and where we're going to go with this. You mentioned they'll see defeat in your last fight. What's it like to bounce back from that, to get back in the gym? Did you have some time off to reflect or was you thinking straight back on the horse? Oh, definitely, you know, I, I got beat by a phenomenal fighter. You know, I, I felt like I was doing well in there and uh, I took quite a lot from it, you know, first fight away from home and abroad, uh, first fight on the huge platform at match room and then it was good to just, to just be in them environment. So I, I do believe now dropping back down in, 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 a, in a level will be, will be the making of me now and I'm, I'm really looking forward to see all the improvements everyone in the gym around me have made, made for me and I'm looking forward to going now. You mentioned obviously a match and show out in Bilbao. What was it like under the bright light? It's a big, big show, it's a big platform. What was that like? It was phenomenal, you know, and I, it was one of those situations where I felt great at the time. I, don't, I didn't think anything about the show and the atmosphere and everything that went along with it was, would affect me, but looking back now, I think my first big show like that, it could have, could have took a little bit out of me, but that's not making no excuses. I got beat by a fantastic guy tonight, and I'm, I'm looking forward to putting that wrong right. Uh, working out in the gym this next 10 weeks and proving what I'm all about. What's it like you mentioned, obviously, 10 weeks out, you're sort of almost at the start of your camp, but most of the boys are towards the end of the camp. What's that like? It's great, you know, a lot of lads in here have given me a lot of sparring in the last camp and camp before that, so, you know, like today I'm going to spar with a few lads. It's good to give these lads, or help these lads, and let them work on me, and I can do things what the opponents will be doing. And we're all, all helping each other out, so it's great in that instance, and it's nice to give back for these guys helping me as well. What's it like working with Anthony? Obviously, he's, he was one of his first fighters, yes. he retired, and he got into the coaching side of it. What's the transition been like for Anthony? How'd you find him as a coach? Well, obviously, Anthony's resume speaks for itself, you know, world champion and stuff like that. Just to be trained by, by the likes of him is great, and um, he's bringing so much stuff to me now. You know, I was very come forward, wanting to fight all the time, and realizing that this is boxing and not fighting, and sitting down and more like work, work, working with your head and more than just just going in there. Obviously, training at Joe's gym in this environment that can only bring me on, and I do feel that all together. It's going to be really, really good for me. I'm excited in my third fight with Anton, I think so. And I'm looking forward to it. I think it's all going to come together in this next six months. So I'm looking forward to it, mate. It's a real good environment and I can't wait to get going again. You mentioned also the environment here in Joe Gallagher's gym, you know, full of champions, ex champions, you know, world champions. What's that like to be surrounded by success as such? To be surrounded by that is something you can't pay for. You know, you've got like Paul Butler who's in today, who's who just won the world title last. Tasha Jonas who's won the world title a couple of months ago. You know, just for me, it's just watching and learning. You know, watching them on the bag, never stopping, and you know, just just watching what they do, making me believe that if I do this, maybe. maybe I can get a chance at this, at this level and you know it's, it's great to be around these. The experience in this gym is next to none. Absolutely. Now you mentioned obviously you're fighting in September. Where is it? What show is it? Can you reveal? Yes, I'm on the Steve show at uh, Reebok Stadium on the 17th of September. So um, it's been put back by two weeks. So it gives me another two weeks to get ready, which is going to work in my favour to be honest. Very uh, local show for yourself as well, not, not too far from yeah. home. Is that, do you prefer that? Definitely not coming back from Bilbao, yeah, coming back from Bilbao, I, I want a homecoming now, I want to get everybody there, you know, I've got a great fan base, um, great sponsors who back me all the way, and I, I took uh, quite a few people to Bilbao, which is amazing, so it's going to be nice to, to give them something back in, in our own town, well, just outside of the old town, Wigan, uh, Bolton, so I'm really looking forward to it, I feel, I feel great in this, in this atmosphere at the moment. Fantastic, James, thank you for your time.